Breaking news. I won't sign anti-open grazing law. Headsmen are my brothers. Governor of Cross River State. I mean, my people, Ben, his name is Ben, in case you are wondering. That's the governor of Cross River State. Since he joined the Buhari's uh, tray, since he joined the Fulani tray, and he left his party, okay, he was once in the People Democratic Party. All of a sudden, they promised him that they are looking at, they are looking for, uh, you know, states that are not so prominent to become, you know, president. And maybe they, they, they told him that uh, he's the potential candidate, and he joined the wagon, the wagon of hopeless you can see that joining the va the wagon of hopelessness i mean it's not as though uh cross river state has not gotten his own fair share of the full and headsmen atrocities farmlands people being killed with evidences and uh, you know reports being there but you know he has to take side with the new territory he has come to uh you know uh, tag along with he has to show to them that um indeed and truly he belongs to this group and uh, will not want to do anything uh, you know against the group so this is what is happening really truly this is what is going on and the governor has said you know why the southern governors all met had a meeting and said we cannot uh allow full any headsmen to continue on this track he said, uh, you know, he must not sign it, you know. I won't sign anti-open grazing law. Headsmen are my brothers, Governor Ayede. Governor Ben Ayede of Cross River State has expressed why he would not sign the anti-grazing law like all the southern governors and southern states. Uh, they explained that the anti-open grazing law already passed by some states might lead to war in Nigeria. He said so he wants to ensure that there is no such thing and so he will stay with what is on ground and manage the situation. The governor who described the headsmen as his brothers warned that if such laws fail to consider the, con the concerns of herders and farmers, it may lead to anarchy and endanger the entire country. Addressing journalists in his office, Governor disclosed that his office, his government would come up with an open grazing management law that will accommodate both the farmers and the herders consigned. The governor said making herders business legitimate by signing the law was insensitive. According to Ben, how would you, how would you as a nation legitimate, legitimate one and make another illegitimate? The legacy an illegitimate trade of a person and a nomadic headsman. It's not a way forward. Mm -hmm. You cannot take laws into your hands, so I will not sign it. I will not trade the headsman for anything. Can you imagine? You have a person, you have the responsibility as an educated person. We sit in the office, and that's why we even set even certain governors have made it clear that governors must pass the anti-grazing law. I have not because I, I have found a solution to it. The, my headsmen, brothers of the north or south, will not shut down my state. We have an understanding. In a place where they have a pasture, they will go and they will do it peacefully. So I, 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 if I have a brother from Yobi in a semi arid condition with no grasses and have no money to go about to buy hay, he has to come to my state to eat his grass. Well, I will make the business legitimate. Shut down and close, shut down and close all others. No, I will ensure that I open door for him because it's my brother that is being sensitive. So what I think the other people are doing may lead this country to anarchy and may bring about potential war if care is not taken. So this is the governor of Cross River State, Ben, and he says he feels that um, the southern governors are not being sensitive to the plight of the uh, of the headers. Uh, they are allowing the headers to suffer by the law they are making. And so as a result, he wants to do something quite different. He wants to ensure that the headers feel part of his administration. And he gave an example of a Yobe uh, Fulani headsman who wants to come and graze his cattle in Cross River State. That if there is no gra grass in, cro in, uh, in, in, in Yobe, they have to come to Cross River to graze. You know, he said he has found a solution. And that solution is that the people will abide by the law. You know, where there is no law, there is no sin. Uh, where you have not... Um, 
put things in place that make people aware that this is the this is this is the this is where the line is drawn this is how far you can go people can do and undo okay so if the governor has found a solution well all well and good and we celebrate him for finding the solution. However, other South, including, is not the only one, in case you are not aware. But, but those state governor, Gordon Obaseki, did not sign the law. And his reason is quite different. It's not because the headers are his brothers. He said that how will he implement the law? Uh, that question is very silly to me if you ask, because the Southwest governors are using from their state allocation, okay, given to the states to put up a security body called Amuteku that they pay. So this has served as employment to some people. However, the governor of Edo State do not want to touch the money because he's saving the money to take to the afterlife, which will give him access to, you know, eternity. He's saving the money, okay? If there's anything like that, he's saving the money and so does not want to, you know, make anybody you know, save the money for the state so that um, being a, a, a be, having have had the opportunity to be a governor, he can really have a major, you know, a major share in the afterlife because he has, you know, he has done well. So these are things we are experiencing. These are things going on right now. These are part of the things we are experiencing. People you thought, you thought, you know, mean well for the people. Sadly, they do not. It's, 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 it's sad, but it's the truth. Sadly, they do not. They have a different mindset, a different perspective, if you ask me, and you will wonder, what kind of a people are these? These are the people we have. And leadership and what have you, these are the people we have. So it is a clear cut and a clear case to let us know that these people, hmm, hey, you think that they are your friends. They don't think so. You are the one who have called them your friends. They have not called you their friends. Okay, so this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And Nigerians, we must continue to speak out. Okay, we must continue to speak out. We must not allow, you know, these things to happen or keep quiet and allow it to continue to, you know, destroy the nation. Okay. This is what is going on right now. Uh, Nigerians, we must continue to speak. He said if they are his brothers, I mean, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't shoot somebody if he said they are his brothers. You have to uh, uh, oblige him and his brothers until something happens. Then we'll know the results, if the resultant effect of brotherhood, okay? So leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.